Today on the channel, we fly too close to the sun one more time with the brand new Target exclusive Sun Man 3 pack. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another Masters Universe Origins unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we take a trip to Target for the Target exclusive Sunman 3-pack. But for all your non-Target exclusive Sunman Masters Universe needs, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And it's uh, so hard to say goodbye as apparently this is the final Sunman pack. This is the final three pack as there was a prior edition three pack which we did unbox on the channel. And this one, a little bit of a controversial one, is so everybody, everybody, including me and everybody else, Target canceled our three packs. And we're like, what's going on with this? What's this tomfoolery all about? So immediately when I heard tomfoolery, I called my dad, Tom. I said, Dad, what's going on? On. And he had no answers either. So it was a very difficult time with this Masters Universe Sunman pack. But then, lo and behold, if you watched my last toy hunt video, we found this out on the road very easily. Found about 10 of them over the span of two days. So they're out there, and I truly do believe they are probably destined for clearance in the future, much like the last pack. However, I could see uh, Mattel making less of this pack than last time, possibly. So we'll see what happens when uh, the dust settles and uh, the resets uh, over and all that kind of fun stuff. So we'll see what happens there. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And of course, like I said, this does complete the team of Sun Man. Now, I am by no means, I am so far from a Sun Man expert, it's unbelievable. I just know the origin stuff, basically. I know the tale and the reasons for it, you know, uh, and the whole history of it. I went back and watched some of that kind of stuff. Sun Man never in my area growing up. I have zero recollection of Sun Man until this whole uh, craze in the U Masters universe came as part as it was folded into that universe. Before that, I had no experience. But apparently, these three characters and a few of the other ones were never officially released at retail, but they were kind of shown off in some uh, publicity shots, things like that. Well, now the team has finally been complete, and that's what we got right here. One hard thing about these is, honestly, I don't have the history. It's not like a merman, a trap jaw, a beast man, a tila, a man at arms, a mech and neck. Who knows? I go on for days. I've lived with those characters for like 40 years or something like that, 38, whatever it's been. Uh, what is time? What is years? I don't know. But I've got those people in my head. But a guy like Kikdo, I don't know him. And what's going to happen is I'm going to get him out of the package. And it's going to be like three weeks from now. Somebody's going to be in my toy room and say, who's this character? I'm going to be like, oh my God, what's his name again? Uh, Kickball, something like that. I won't be able to remember these guys' names. So I don't know. Maybe I'll make a little file card for him. Maybe a little name badge. I don't know. Got to figure something out because I just don't have the history with these characters. But we'll see what happens. So I could mess up their names. You never know. You never know. But let's look at the packaging on this one. Very familiar. Three-pack packaging in the Origins, of course. Looking really good. No doubt about it. Beautiful artwork at the top there. Absolutely love that. Classic Masters of the Universe uh, logo up top there. Sun Man and the Rulers of the Sun. And it's got the whole boys. It's got all three of the boys. New for 2023. They're into battle here together. It takes a team. And they're taking on some of these like goblins going on here. This could actually be Satan and his minions. They got horns like Satan. Who knows? Who knows what's going on in that Sun Man universe? But maybe we'll get these guys as an army builder pack. That'd be kind of cool. We'll see what happens there. Big bubble window here in case you run into these guys at the store or something. They can put their old John Hancock sign it for you if they need to. Retro play. Rulers of the Sun, Sun Man. We got Kikdo right here doing Kikdo things. He is an expert kickboxer, like a young John claude Van Damme is exactly what he is. And then we got Holographo down here, futuristic scientist. Oh, a scientist of the future. I wonder if he invented dipping dots back in the day. Of course, the ice cream of the future, the scientist of the future, makes sense. That's where it's going in my head. And then you got Zapman, zapping people left and right. Micro laser specialist. I think he also invented uh, those bug zappers, if I'm not mistaken there. So we got quite the team going on here. Ryu City. Some new accessories with this one. 
But as we've seen these head sculpts before, change the skin color a little bit, and bam, you got a new character. And I guess that's how it was done back in the Sun Man days. I'm here for this beard, though. You can set your watch to that beard. If I had one here, I'd set it. But I don't, unfortunately. Sun Man and the Rulers of the Sun on the side. Same thing on this side. And then on the back, oh, that's where all the magic happens on the back right here. Look at that big mural. That looks like something that would be uh, in an art museum. Sun Man and the Rulers of the Sun. You got the whole team going on there. And this just uh, spells diversity is what this is. This is diversity and inclusion at its finest. They got uh, Duplico, Cody Rhodes, the white guy in here. Uh, you got uh, all kinds of colors of the rainbow here. This is Diversity 101. Every big business would absolutely love this poster here. There's no doubt about it. You got Sun Man ruling the top. They even let a pig man in here. If that's not diversity, what is? They got a pig man going on. Pig head, of course, an old favorite on the channel. We've unboxed numerous times. Wild, wild scene right here. But a very cool little mural going on there. It'd be great to hang in my house if I could get that. Who knows? Modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Rulers of the Sun action figures, Kikdo, Holographo, and Zatman give you the power to pose Trafixia's greatest warriors as retro-style figures or in new action-packed battle positions. Push kick discs into armor. Holographic harness confuses enemies. Push tech towers into gauntlets. So a lot going on right there. Very, very cool. I am here for it all day long. And as you guys know, twice on Sunday. Oh, twice on Sunday. And that's when the real collectors are out on the Sundays, as we do know. But we're going to pull it out. Pull the whole team. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. Like a big old Frisbee throwing it there. Got the little background there. Unfortunately, not comic books. I think these are just like kind of like big trading cards, which I really wish they were more comic book-like, in all honesty there. I'm going to pull these out. Bam, there it is. See some of that. See you later. Once again, goodbye. And we got very thick cards here. They're like playing cards. They're like, uh, for old blind people or little kids, it's like a big playing card. We're playing Go Fish with some big cards is what it feels like here. But very, very cool. I like what we see. And I guess we're going to go one by one through these cards right here. Rulers of the Sun, Sun Man, Holographo, Futuristic Scientist. From a distant part of the universe, Holographo invented dipping dots. See, I knew it was true. Oh, maybe not. Part of the universe, Holographo mastered the ability to capture, freeze, and manipulate illusions. Now a hero of Trafixia, the futuristic scientist, protects the innocent from the forces of evil. Doing the Lord's work right there is what he's doing. Now we move our attention over here to Zapman zapping everybody. Micro laser specialist. Armed with an array of virus destroying mini towers and a mind for computer hacking. Zatman is the ultimate defense against technolog technological attacks. The micro laser specialist prevents dangerous tech from falling into the wrong hands. Nobody's stealing his credit card information at the end of the day. And then we got Kick Doe. Always need a kickboxer on the team. A martial arts master sworn to use his talents to battle evil. Kick Doe is far more dangerous than the explosive star disc that adorn his armor. Deemed worthy by his ancestors, they bestowed upon his sonic power to disable his enemies. And it always makes me wonder, what would my ancestors say about me? They'd be just like, what is, what is this guy doing? What does he do all day? What, what is his deal? He works, and then he does this, and... I don't know. I don't know. Where's my dad says, how do you stay employed with that long hair? That's what my dad says, but uh, it happens. It happens. It's 2023. There it is. Looking good here. We got kick dough. We got holographo. We got the zap man zapping everybody playing little tricks with his bug zapper. I'm here for it. We're going to get these guys out. We're going to go one by one. It looks like we're going to go kick dough first. It's time for kick dough to shine. We're going to go one by one. That's how we're going to do this video here. We're going to change it up a little bit. We got kick dough doing kick dough things is what he's going on. And an interesting look to Kikdo here. Now, he's got these little discs. So these discs are removable, and it looks like they do fit in his vest in the front. So an interesting scheme here for these. But his uh, little gauntlets, a little bit looser than I would like. I would like a little tighter in the gauntlet area there. But you can take these discs out. You can throw these throwing stars at people. You know, in the 80s and early 90s, throwing stars were awesome. I used to buy them. We could buy them at our convenience store. Local convenience store, you could get throwing stars. You can imagine how that went. Uh, I had some neighbor kids. They were getting down to it. Threw some throwing stars into each other. It was awesome to watch. But I'm glad I didn't get hit with one. That's for sure. But he does have the throwing stars tied up here. And I'm guessing, yep, these probably go around the thigh, legs, down here. And they just punch in there, just like so. So he's an interesting kickboxer. I've never met a kickboxer. And I've done some kickboxing in my time. Yes, it's true. You know, I've talked about it on the channel before. I'm by no means an expert kickboxer. But I've done it. I've partook. Uh, and it's a good time. But I've never fought a kickboxer in my days that had uh, these discs on him. I don't know. Maybe they do things different in the Sun Man land. 
uh, but totally different there. But we got these, so we got coverings on the gauntlets for the forearms and the thighs. Definitely an interesting one. And then you got the whole apparatus over the top, which can very easily be taken off, just slide it over his head. So all very easily removable. But one thing I will give credit to this figure is it feels very different. It feels very different than anything else we've had, even with the reuse, the reuse head and things. Uh, the black skin color against the vibrant white really, really does pop. Then you add that purple against the white. A very colorful without being overly colorful figure. I really do like the looks of this one. I have no issues with this figure at all. It even comes with a little blade. I mean, what are they doing in this kickboxer arena? Usually you got gloves and maybe some Muay Thai shin guards or something if you're kickboxing. You're usually not having a knife when you're doing kickboxing, at least in my time. I don't know, maybe kickboxing may have changed over time. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm sure he's going to fit on a ringside collectible Mattel stand. There's no doubt about it right there. And I'm going to slide him on there. Maybe, maybe I lied. Maybe he won't fit. Or maybe you just got to push a little harder. There it is. But it is a lot of reuse. And I'm going to walk through articulation on one of these other guys. We'll get to it eventually. It's all going to be the same as you guys know. But an interesting one. I like this flat top that you could set Captain Planet's watch to if you wanted to on this one. But a very, very interesting one is Kikdo. Now we're going to turn our attention. We're going to go Zap Man next. We're going to end with the beard. We got Zap Man looking really good there. Zapping everybody. Uh, playing tricks on everybody with his bug zapper. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? But he loves a little technology. And like I said, nobody's stealing his credit card information. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. But we get him right here. And once again, he looks just like Digatino and some of those other guys. We've seen this familiar face before in the past. He's got the yellow and blue attack looking really good. Yellow and blue is a very underrated color combination, if you ask me. It's not quite green and gold Oakland A's colors, but it's close. It's very dangerously close. But I do like the colors on this guy. Uh, I guess we'll do articulation with him. Arms go all the way around, side to side at the elbow, single jointed elbow, hands back, forward, side to side. Hands going to be removable. No extra hands, anything like that with this pack. So they're not going to be any of those shenanigans going on. Waist articulation, of course. Head removable, back, forward, side to side, up and down. Uh, you do get the splits if you do need them. Side to side at the knee, single jointed knee. Boot cut, ankles up, down, side to side, all the usual articulation we've uh, grown accustomed to with our Sun Man figures and our Masters Universe Origin figures. Talked about the head, we've seen this before. Love the rat tail in the back, man. Bring the rat tail back. A very iconic look. Maybe that's what I'll do. For the next video, you may see me with just a nice rat tail going on. Who knows? Uh, but the blue and yellow really does pop on this one against the nice sun-kissed tan skin color on this guy. Looking pretty good. And now you get all these extras here. Now he's got this interesting helmet. Uh, very interesting helmet. I don't know I don't know what this is. It's like a garbage can over the top of his head with a, the garbage can cut out. I, I am, I'm totally at a loss what, what's going on with this helmet. Uh, but it does give him a point of difference because he does look like uh, other characters. If you put this on, he does look and feel different. He does got these to slide onto his forearm. These little antennas, he's trying to pull in stuff. It's like in, in the 80s, there was a, you know, my grandma lived out in the country. Story time with Kyle. Here we go. In the 80s, you know, out in the country, people had those big old satellite dishes. They were just absolutely wild. And my grandma's neighbor had one of those things. And I was so jealous because you can get like Saturday night's main event, like early and stuff. Like even like uh, the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, Jay Leno or whatever. You would like get the live feed or something. I don't remember how it worked exactly, but you could see stuff before like tape delay stuff. It was like intercepted with the satellites and you get all these crazy channels, everything all over the world with that big thing. Just a different time, a different time. I guess if you were there, you were maybe there or maybe you weren't. I don't know. Who knows? But does he fit on a ringside stand if I can get one out of the pile over here? I'm sure he will, but I like this guy too. Actually, these figures aren't so bad for being all reuse. And let's be honest, Masters Universe is reuse across the board. Uh, they made these feel a little bit different as he snaps off at the at the waist. Of course, they just plug and play, as we do know. Uh, they made these feel different enough that they feel good. But one thing I haven't mentioned yet is the $50 price point. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Where's the deal? We got to get a deal at the end of the day. And 50 is awfully steep. I am going to get a second set of this for my on-card collection. However, I'm playing that waiting game. I'm going to wait for a clearance as I do truly feel these will go to clearance in the future here. But now we're turning our attention over to Holographo. Things are getting a holographic, which is always dangerous. You never know about holograms and stuff. See you later. 
Goodbye. There it goes. All right, off to the side. Kick Doe, Zap Man. I'm remembering their names. I'm remembering it. He does come with a nice samurai shield here. It also looks like a ring pop. Of course, we've all had a ring pop. You put that on. You suck on it here. It's got the same base, but you got a little knife here. But not a very sharp knife, and it's got a weird bend to it. A weird bend to this. Not sure what to think about this one here, but it is all in red. I guess that's a little bit more holograph stuff. He stabs somebody in the chest and then twirls this, and then they... You know, go to a deep sleep or something. I don't know. But we do got a little weapon action going on. But the main event with this one is this cool beard. Man, oh man, this is a beard for an action figure. It really gives me kind of like throwbacks to the old 70s G.I. Joe figures with the real fur. That's what they should have done. Give us real fur with this one. But looking really, really cool here. Got a bit of a sash over the top with his little holograph thing. And I could maybe hypnotize somebody through the YouTube channel. Somebody in the comments let me know if... Does this hypnotize you? Are you wanting to run to Target right away and buy all the Sunman packs? Is that true? You guys let me know in the comments. But you got a little of that. It's on brand for him, of course, on point. And I like the blue color against the red, against the black skin tone. Man, I'm here for that. This set isn't a bad gig. I think the thing that people don't like about this set, as some people kind of groan and moan about it, is they didn't grow up with Sun Man. They don't got a backstory with Sun Man. They don't like the price points. I think that's more of the problems people have with it. But as a standalone, you can leave it. You can buy it. You can pass on it. You can do what you want. But these figures aren't so bad, actually. I'm actually uh, more impressed with this three-pack than the last three-pack. This one, at least, of course, they all shared stuff. This feels a heck of a lot more new than the last three-pack did, at least for me. You guys tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. But we got the same articulation we saw with those other ones. Uh, nothing real too new here. A lot of reuse. That is the name of the game. The star of this is the head sculpt in the beard. There's no doubt about it. I think he, think he looks good. I think he looks good. I'm here for this all day long. Going to see if he fits on a Mattel ringside collectible stand as usual. Use code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Going to put his little uh, holographic sword in his hand. And we're going to be off to the old proverbial races. Maybe if he will hold on to it. He's just got to hold on to that sword. You just got to hold tight. It's not wanting to fit in his hand as I'm dropping things. I got the bum thumb that's uh, causing me trouble. Who knows? You know, it's just got to power through. There we go. There it is. All right. Now we're down to business. We got a team I would not want to mess with. Three individuals from different lands, different jobs coming together to take on Pighead and occasionally Skeletor. Quite the team right here. Kikdo, Zapman, Holographo. Man, oh man, my memory is just getting sharp. Sharper than it's ever been. But there it is, the final Sunman 3-pack, at least for now, unless they invent some new characters. We'll see what happens with that. But I'm here for it. I'm all about completing teams. And like I said, I don't know if it's quite worth $50, but this did beat my expectations. This is kind of a fun set. So check it out if you are remotely interested. And let me know in the comments your thoughts on this three-pack. And it's always interesting to see who has heard of Sunman before all this Sunman resurgence. Let me know where you're from and where you heard from it. Because me growing up in the Midwest... He was not around from where I was in my parts, but I hear from, you know, people in, you know, Detroit or Chicago or New York, and they knew about the Sun Man. So it's interesting, that kind of stuff and distribution, always interesting to me. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you've made it this far. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and the other YouTube channel. We've got two channels with content every single day. Check them out. Subscribe. Always does help the channel grow. And of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget about Patreon for early access to this video and all the other videos on the channel. Always does help out the channel, of course, being a Patreon member. And you can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Sun Man and uh, Masters Universe Origins and uh, Time and Holograph and Kickboxers and Zappers, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.